صاحبي ومن ودار بصحي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحب الوقت ده من لساني يفقه قولي 15 minutes I'm gonna I'm gonna probably just take two three minutes yeah but you guys can rest after um, how many of you guys know who Abu Bakr Siddiq is raise your hand if you know who Abu Bakr Siddiq is raise your hand and you have to keep your hands up it's a serious question okay tell me one thing about him Rome. Okay. Someone else? Go ahead. He was a businessman. He was a businessman, okay? Who else? Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Who else? Someone else? Yes. Okay. One of the Khalifas. One of the Khalifas, okay. Good. Someone else in the back? Tell them. Someone else? So, one of the few things that I'm sure some of you guys are probably, most of you know, is that the Prophet said that if the deeds of Abu Bakr in the Day of Judgment are weighed on a scale and the deeds of the Ummah of Muhammad on the other side, his deeds are heavier than the Ummah of Muhammad He got this status and the Prophet said all of his deeds is heavier then the rest of the Ummah of the Prophet Also, narrated in Surah Abu Dawood, the Prophet said that the Prophet is going to be the first one to enter tent. And the angels who are going to the Prophet we were ordered not to open the door of Jannah except to you, O Muhammad. And in that same narration, he says, you, Abu Bakr, is gonna, you're going to be the first one right after me. So the Prophet entered Jannah, Abu Bakr is right behind him. Another narration. The Prophet said that in the Day of Judgment, Jannah has eight gates, right? You guys all know that. So there's a gate for Salah, there's a gate for fasting, you know, Bab Royal, there's a gate for Sadaqah, there's a gate for you know, jihad is there's eight gates, okay? At each gate, there's an angel. In the Day of Judgment, each of these angels are gonna, are gonna call out to the people, okay, who did that deed. So for people of prayers, the angel at the gate of prayer says, hey, hey, people I used to pray a lot, you will come through my gate, okay? And those who fast are gonna go through the day of fasting and so on and so forth. When the Prophet was telling the companions this narration, Abu Bakr Siddiq asked him, and this for us to understand who Abu Bakr Siddiq is, he was a smart man. He said, Is anyone gonna enter from eight gates? Like, is there anyone who gets to choose? What that basically means for us to understand, imagine this you enter a message, and there's groups of people everywhere. There's, there's a bunch of brothers sitting here, a bunch of brothers sitting here, some brothers in the back, some brothers there, and so on, right? So there's groups everywhere. And the moment you enter through the door, every group says, Hey Ahmed, come sit with us. And then the other group, no, 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 don't sit with them, come sit with us. And then the third group, no, 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 come sit with us. So every group is fighting over the person to come sit with them. In the Day of Judgment, the angels are going to fight to get Abu Bakr Siddiq with the line. They're going to fight to get Abu Bakr Siddiq come through our gate. Come through our door. Because of the honor of who he is. We can talk about Abu Bakr for hours. But actually that's not the point. That's not why I'm here. Who wants to be like Abu Bakr? Who wants to be like Allah? I need everybody's hand up. 
Okay, alhamdulillah. That's good. I'm just going to take another 30 seconds and that's it. I mean it. One of the recent scholars, listen to this carefully. Okay. One of the recent scholars collected everything that Abu Bakr said in his lifetime. He was someone what, that he was the first one to become Muslim. So he left, he lived with the Prophet and he was the Prophet's best friend. So he was with the Prophet all the time. And that scholar, when he collected everything that Abu Bakr said, it was about seven pages. Just seven pages. And seven pages only. It wasn't a book. It wasn't hundreds of pages. It was seven pages. Abu Bakr Siddiqui was someone who spoke so little. Spoke so little. But he did a lot. He did so much. Yet he didn't speak a lot. So I don't want to speak too much. I don't want to speak too much. Um, the ship is not here. He's probably not going to pray yet. But my request to you, until he comes, you don't have to talk. Just spend a few minutes. You can do whatever you want. You can say Safar, you can make dua. You can think about Abu Bakr. You can think about your wife. Or whatever. Just, let's not say anything. Just, just be quiet. Just for a few minutes. It's a really good practice. Jazakumullah khair, subhanakumullah, wa bihamdik, wa sadaullah, 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 wa